what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to talk about a few different topics in this video here today mostly scream 6 as the title and thumbnail suggests so we're going to talk about mostly scream 6 but i'm going to start off by talking about insidious 5 a little tidbit about insidious 5 that was shared to me shared with me a while back so just to kick it off an audition tape for insidious 5 has all but flat out stated that a character from the previous lambert entries which you know the first two will unfortunately be dying in the upcoming sequel that drops later this year we know patrick wilson is directing while also reprising his role as josh Lam josh lambert alongside rose byrne who returns as renee uh, the film is going to be set 10 years after the events of the original two and we will follow dalton once again played by ty simpkins who is now away at college dalton's college dreams are crushed when his childhood demons return to cause trouble for him and josh as well now the audition tape that was shared with me by a friend i refer to simply as matt has shared some light on the funeral image that was spotted during the filming that took place last year for insidious five fear the dark um this audition tape makes it looks like insidious five will include the demise of barbara hershey's character i believe that's the actress actress's name the actress who played lorraine lambert aka josh's mother the audition tape showcases an unnamed character that talks to josh with a lot of sorrow in her voice saying your mother was a fine friend josh so lorraine must be dying in the upcoming film i'm curious if she will be related to this funeral that we even saw or if this is just confirming that she is going to die at another point in the movie i'm willing to bet it's 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 her funeral that we spotted them filming earlier last summer when they were still shooting this movie or late last summer when they were still shooting this movie i'm curious if her death will be an opening kill sequence like a pers personalized attack from the lipstick face demon to announce their return or if lorraine died from other means i suspect it will be from non further related shenanigans <laughs> but i'd be fine if her death was tied to the new shenanigans that the further has to offer us in this upcoming film i'll leave a link to the audition tape in the description for you guys to watch and you guys can also check out insidious fear of the dark when it arrives in theaters later this july do you think that lorraine's death will have anything to do with what happened uh, in the further or do you think her death is something that will happen off screen and it's just related to other natural causes but her death could still be utilized into the narrative that relates to dalton and josh being terrorized once again by what i expect to be the lipstick face demon i can't think of what else is going to be taunting them all this all this time later and i would be kind of disappointed if it's not the lipstick face demon return but that doesn't mean that of course you can't still tell me a very good story with the lamberts not tied to the lipstick face demon i mean we got a decent sequel with insidious chapter two so just to jump into scream six the main event scream six is going to be coming to us in 3d yes 3d i did not stutter that is not fake news that is legitimate scream six will be released in 3d this will be the very first entry to be released in 3d and we learned this knowledge or this information thanks to uh regal cinemas i've also put out a tweet to let all the american fans who were jealous of the uk fans this past weekend that tickets for us go on sale this upcoming wednesday so you won't have too much longer so you can buy your tickets to see scream six I know several of you have already been able to see slots for the pre-sale tickets up on Regal, AMC, Cinemark. You can't buy them just yet, though, because they won't go out to sale till Wednesday. So the 3D outing will also include a fan event. And you can find more details on this fan event over on the Regal Cinema site. But AMC should also be participating in this as well. I have saw that the UK fans will get a double feature billing of sorts with Scream 5 and Scream 6 playing back to back. Uh, which I think is pretty cool. The runtime for the film has also been confirmed to be two hours and three minutes. This would then make Scream 6 the longest entry in the franchise. Now, if we don't include credits, Scream 6 might end up being one hour and 57 minutes in total with six minutes remaining dedicated to credits, I would think. 
with the talk about how much gory this one is and how the characters will still be more fleshed out this time around despite the rapid pacing of the movie and all the other things that have been hyped up about it Ghostface being in New York and how that was seen as a big opportunity how the, placing the movie in New York was a big opportunity and basically created a fun playground for them with this upcoming film I'm very intrigued to see how this movie is received critically I haven't gotten my invitation to watch the movie early yet but you guys can monitor my Twitter you can reach out to me on Instagram or whatever other social media platform i'm on which is only really three facebook twitter and instagram you can message me and if you want to know when i watch the movie i will share that with you when i know that knowledge i have not yet gotten my invite but trust me when i get it i will put out a tweet and i will tell anyone else who wants to ask me privately in a dm or whatever so the runtime is more than enough to really let our Woodsboro group shine because I think that's who is mostly going to get development while the newbies are either mostly here to have their brief moments of the spotlight before dying or they're merely here for the body count. So you have a 3D Ghostface experience coming, you have tickets on sale this Wednesday, and the film will be the longest entry yet. And we have that Super Bowl spot to look forward to as well. The hype for this movie is really being felt online, and I know it will reflect even more so at the box office. I cannot wait to see this movie either later this month, or if I don't see it later this month, I'm definitely going to be seeing it the week it comes out, uh, a few days prior to it dropping. Because I know that press screenings are going to start up soon, they most likely will have the major people involved with the press watching it later this month. And if I'm not lucky enough to even get to see it around that time, I'm pretty certain I will see it the week it comes out, just like how I saw five last year, the week it came out. But I saw it like maybe three days before it dropped or two days before it dropped, something like that. I'll see it before it's out and I'll have my review up on the channels. One will be spoiler free. One will be spoiler filled. And for those of you who have, who have already notated that I already have a very spoiler heavy video waiting to debut in March. That is going to be the video that unmasks who the killer is, what their motive is, and all of the other things related to what I have known about this movie for quite some time. And I will share that all in that upcoming video when it debuts later in the month of March. So you guys can let me know, are you excited about all these new tidbits we learned about Scream 6 down in the comment section below? Are you excited about this being the longest entry in the franchise? I mean, maybe you're excited about it right now, but maybe the movie itself could maybe make you wish that it wasn't the longest entry because pacing could be a, a issue with the movie too even though i know it's a rapid paced movie that might be something that is very tiresome to some people especially if you're dealing with that for two hours it all depends on how they're handling this rapid pacing so we'll see how this all goes down you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.